hello guys welcome back in this video let's have a look on the layer style satin so what you are seeing right now is a text uh, in a layer so i just go to the effects in the layer pal uh, layer panel and then choose satin here and then you get this uh, uh, layer style window and i'm going to just select uh, a color uh, I'll, I'll i can just take a color which is closer to it so i'll take an orange color and then choose the blending mode to the normal and put the opacity high now satin is uh, basically achieved or uh, used to get that satin cloth effect uh, generally it will have uh, the lighter version of uh, of the same colored cloth so if it is a maroon color cloth it gives a saturated light color highlights on it so it gives that metallic effect so uh, i just wanted to see actually what's how this effect is actually coming up what's the logic behind it so i thought to keep the blending mode to normal and then the contour to this one and reduce the distance and size and then you should able to see when i'm changing the distance here uh, the r is getting offset down and the r is getting offset up and they are you know blending with each other and that's where the whole effect is coming when i apply uh, the size and you should see that nice interesting highlights forming on the text and this will uh, multiply when you change the contours of this uh, effect and it looks way more interesting than what it is so uh, we can explore the size and then distance and then we should see you get this effects so uh, this effect is uh, can be used in getting chrome or uh, sort of effect or uh, metals basically and also it, uh, we can use this in some jelly type of effects so let's try both of them so initially i just wanted to try some <coughs> metal so i'm going to use a uh, bevel emboss effect okay and then reset to the default and then increase the depth and size and uh, i can maybe make it soft and then what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to go to the contours and then choose this contour types and then explore the uh, size and radius so you should able to see you're getting that nice interesting um, effect there now this is where i'm going to use a satin effect which is going to be in the normal blending mode and then just try to um, get now here the satin is not showing much effect because of my uh, bevel embos uh, type so i'm going to use the other type of bevel embos mm. so i'm just resetting it uh, inner bevel and then choose chisel hard and um, i can soften it up slightly and then let's go to the contours this one looks better i don't want to lose the color of it now this is okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a satin effect and then i'm going to choose a dark color of it and then choose the blending mode to normal and then increase opacity and then start uh, playing with the size and see the magic it looks more chrome and then uh, the third dimension comes when we add shadow to it okay like that uh, let me just uh, put some color a contrast color 
and then you should able to see this now let me uh, as i told you let me create some jelly type of effect here so this is in a different layer so i'm going to select um, the bevel emboss and then choose a soft one and a normal bevel and then remove the opacity of uh, or just put it to to the screen the shadow type and uh, first let me go to the color overlay and then just take up this um, nice pink color okay or maybe we'll go for an orange color and then i'll go to the satin effect and then choose the darker orange here and then let me try using different types of uh, contours to this that adds up some interesting colors and uh, it looks way better when I apply inner glow and then choose a normal blending mode and take a dark color maybe I can just try uh, using I should able to see that difference here okay so satin is adding that extra texture uh, to both the effects what I am creating so satin cloth effect is achieved as you saw just by offsetting the text uh, one vertical and one horizontal and then blurring it out ju just simple as that <coughs> 